Hello everyone, we're trying to make an intro. Hello everyone, I have been looking at my YouTube analytics and I noticed something. I don't upload as often as I should. It has been more than three months. I mean sure, I could blame it on being busy every day or something, but let's face it. I'm very efficient at doing nothing the whole day or going with a ride with my trusted lab assistant Floki. But today, I decided I'm going to do something about it. I'm going to create a clock, but not just any clock, a binary clock like this one here, using the Raspberry Pi Pico W. The reason for this is so that I can keep it on my desk and keep time, so I can create more content for YouTube. So, let's get started. For the first prototype, we will be building it on a breadboard. We will need 17 LEDs and resistors to limit the current, a bunch of wires, and our brain for this project, the Raspberry Pi Pico W. Then it is as simple as following the schematic diagram, writing some code, and then you will have a working binary clock like this. Now, if any of this was a bit confusing, you can head over to my website, netcave.xyz, where I have written up all the instructions and explain all the code in detail. Here we have the hours, minutes, and seconds being displayed to us in binary. Our binary clock does look very awesome on a breadboard, but this is not exactly practical. I mean, how do we mount it anywhere and you have all these bunch of wires? So, I think it's time for an upgrade. I decided to sign a printed circuit board using Easy EDA. After a few minutes of tinkering, I came up with the following design. I just ordered the PCB, so we will have to wait for one week for the package to arrive. One week later. The package finally arrived, so let's go and get it. Just as I was about to go grab it, I realized I had the perfect assistant to help me carry it all. My trusted lab assistant, Floki. And then we were off, going back to the lab to finish this project. We both were super excited to get the PCB, so we started running back home as quick as we could. Good job, Floki. Here is our beautiful PCB. The best part is, it's incredibly simple to solder, making it accessible for both beginners and experienced makers alike. So let's quickly go and solder this board. To make the clock more versatile and convenient, I designed a simple stand using SolidWorks. I then 3D printed the stand, which allowed me to display the clock neatly on my desk. However, I encourage you to create with your own designs. And if you come up with something cooler or have any other fantastic ideas, share them with me in the comment section or any of my social media platforms. Now that our binary clock is complete, let's take a moment to appreciate its beauty with a few glamorous shorts. Thank you all for joining me on this journey creating this binary clock. If there is any more project videos you want to see, consider subscribing to the channel and I will see you in the next video.